guys whoa <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Savannah Rose and the purpose behind my channel is to talk about how you can have the life that you want starting with what you have right now and I figured what a better time to make this kind of video than in the middle of this worldwide issue that we have right now don't want to talk about it don't want to bring too much light to it in the negative connotation except for I am praying for and sending good vibes I don't really pray often uh, but I'm sending good vibes and loving energy to all of those people who have been affected by this situation and to anybody who is currently dealing with it or I know somebody who's dealing with it um, I really sincerely hope that you have a speedy and efficient recovery and beyond that if you are sick first and foremost you need to be taking care of yourself in this time of need so self-care healing get through this then you can go to the next step and see so in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about really just getting ahead in this circumstance and I know it seems really difficult to do that especially considering the circumstances there's a lot of things that are shut down there's a lot of things that we usually can do that we usually can't do however I am seeing so many posts on social media about people being bored and not knowing what to do with themselves and obviously we have the time to just like scroll and look at other people's content and haha funny TikToks and all that kind of stuff binge Netflix. I'm sure that's like the biggest thing that people have been doing. But you guys, we should be taking so much advantage of this time that we're given to work on ourselves, to work on the things that we care about and that we want to get forward with in life. Whether you're unemployed um, or you have a job right now, very seldom are we going to have opportunities where our job is just going to convert to working from home or where we're getting paid to stay home because we're not trying to get everybody sick and we're not trying to get sick ourselves. This is a very once in a lifetime kind of situation. And I don't want to say that like it's the best thing in the world because it's definitely not a good thing. And I definitely miss going out and socializing and going swimming. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen a lot of my best friends and I had a lot of people, and I'm sure we all did, that had trips planned that can't we can't do them anymore first and foremost you guys need to be taking care of yourself um if you're sick just focus on healing and getting better um and getting through that situation that's that's your first and foremost you need to focus on that um obviously so that you can heal and get through because it's not something to take lightly right now but if you aren't sick then the way this applies to you is you just need to be giving yourself some love and self-care so whether that's just getting more sleep than you usually do um or taking the time to set routines for yourself to get ahead and be ultimately more successful then do that if you have health issues or even just like you've wanted to work on your health or you wanted to work out more or maybe you already work out and you're having a hard time because the gym's closed I know I am find something that's going to keep you going while you are at home so that way you don't lose all that progress you can keep getting ahead I ordered a pack of resistance bands from Amazon that were like 12 15 dollars super effective um, it's you know it's not lifting weights but it's something to keep my butt tone <laughs> As I've said in other videos, I've been doing lots of yoga with Adrienne. She's a great resource, and I will, again, link her in the description below because I love her that much. She doesn't sponsor any of my videos, but I just, I love her, and I need to give her all of the props because she just makes my days so much more peaceful and so much more vibrant than they would be without her. So thank you, Adrienne. I absolutely love your stuff. So go check her out if you're into yoga or if you're interested in trying it out. Really basic yoga routines that really, honestly, anybody can do, and she gives lots of ways that you can convert it so that way if it's a little different difficult for you. Um, she shows you alternate postures that you could do to make them easier for you. There's tons of workout at home videos on YouTube. You could order some weights if you really want to. Um, but overall, there's ways to be healthy. You could still take a walk around the street or a jog. Just don't get too close to anybody. Don't touch anything. I've actually seen a lot of people going on bike rides and it makes my heart so happy because in Texas, you don't really see that because obviously like the roads are so crazy busy and the speed limit is so fast that it's kind of dangerous, but I've seen a lot of people just in the just in my neighborhood riding bikes and there was this little girl actually I was on a run and she rode her bike past me and just turned around and smiled and I was like this is what we need like she was super far away from me but just being able to do those kinds of things to be healthy and still smile still give people that love still give yourself that love if you want to do your nails good if you want to do a hair mask I've been doing lots of hair masks um, my hair doesn't look as amazing as it did when I first filmed this video but I mean it's it's pretty soft you just really can't tell <laughs> I actually have been doing a lot of hair masks, hence these like gorgeous curls that I haven't had since I was in like middle school <laughs> before I first dyed my hair and like oh my goodness I'm so so happy with how my hair looks right now. It hasn't looked like this in a long time. <laughs> 
take care of yourself, work on your happiness, work on your health, um, optimize yourself and your routines. Now's a really good time to reset everything, whether it's like sleep schedule or just morning routine, just get yourself into a flow of things. So that way when things go back to normal and say your job converts back to being a, at work, job um, or you just can start working in general you can start to incorporate those routines into your daily life but beyond just taking good care of yourself of course if you are unemployed or not working right now or you were originally in school and now you're at home with your family or you're all online classes whatever the case may be it's likely that you have more free time than you usually do um, I'm not saying this for everybody but I know there's a lot of people that are being affected in this way so the first thing I would like to say is that if you qualify for unemployment right now it's a really good time because the government is helping you out a lot. Do your own research. I'm not going to say or give any promises or false hope or whatever, but the government is helping us out right now to get to stimulate the economy to get through the situation. Um, and it's the kind of time that you need to take advantage of. Not take advantage of as in never go to work again because it's not even like that. It's like a max of four months or something like that. But you are being paid to stay at home so that we don't go out and we don't infect other people. That's the biggest thing that you need to remember. My number one piece of advice would be to save as much money as possible. Start a retirement fund. Start a vacation fund. Start a like big project fund if you want to like publish a book or if you want to do something crazy, convert a van. Do <laughs> Set yourself up for success in that realm so that way when all of this stuff starts to blow over, you'll have a stack of safety money. Or even just if things aren't blowing over, you'll have money just in case it does hit the fan. With that extra money and not being able to really spend it on like doing much, now is also the time to take this extra time and do something with it. Whether it's your book, your blog, your business, something you've wanted to start but you've never had the time to or you've never had the resources to, um, right now is a really great time to do that. Um, I've been spending lots of time filming videos, making TikTok videos and learning TikTok, all that kind of stuff. And working on my poetry book, which I'm super, super excited about, expected to be posted on April 16th, which is my birthday. So just putting extra time into things that you usually don't have time for, because right now you're being paid to stay at home and stay safe and stay healthy. So take that time to build for yourself, build something for yourself, build your business, build your blog, write your book, whatever you need to do, whatever project you've been putting off, even if it's just something around the house, if you've always wanted to renovate a room, or maybe you've always wanted to like deep clean your entire house, apartment, I don't know. The point is, if you're not working right now, you're given the time to focus on these things. Um, so take advantage of that. Like I said, I've been working on my poetry book. I've been filming and editing lots of videos for you guys. I've been making lots of TikTok videos, so I will leave my username in the description below. I know a lot of people have their opinions about TikTok. I used to totally diss on it, but honestly, one, it's really fun, and two, it's really easy to blow up on there. I've been on there for two weeks, and I have almost 200 followers. I don't know any of them, so <laughs> get on TikTok if you're trying to boost your business, your blog, whatever it is, even if you don't think it'll benefit you. Trust me, it will. It's not a saturated enough market yet for you to get like hidden in all the hashtags, so it's likely that people will see you and follow you. So just a heads up. If you watch Gary Vee on YouTube, Instagram, honestly, he's all over the place. Um, he really preaches getting on um, all the new social media apps as they come up so that you can start to promote yourself. So the same thing goes if you have a business and you've always wanted to learn social media marketing. Get into that because that's going to be a huge help, especially now that things are starting to get more automated and people are at home. So all they can really do is be online. So that way you can still be promoting and building your business while this whole situation is going on. If you are employed right now and you're able to go out and make money, um, take advantage of that situation as well. And in that way, I mean, you're not able to spend as much money on things as you used to. The price for gas is going down. You can't really go out to restaurants and eat out. You can only order in. And honestly, right now, is a great time to be saving money is the biggest thing whether it's for an emergency or it's just for your retirement fund or again if you have that project you want to work on save money or the time that you're not at work spend working on something because we cannot go out and socialize right now we should not be going out and socializing right now so we should take that extra time that you have when you're not working to put aside towards working on whatever big project it is that you are working on as i mentioned before Overall, you guys, I know that it's easy to not take the situation seriously or to take it too seriously. I'm just trying to look at it from the bright side of things in terms of what you can do. Stay home, stay safe as much as you possibly can. Um, practice social distancing. 
And while you are at home, just be productive and work on things that are going to help propel you further in your life. And also we're gonna just bring you general happiness because obviously we're working on being happier as human beings. I've been doing yoga every day, as I said. I've started running randomly. I do 100 squats a day. Just do something to keep yourself going. Um, even just go sit out on the balcony, patio, whatever, and enjoy the sun because we, we just gotta keep, we gotta keep each other going, you know? Find that passion project and just propel yourself forward because you gotta keep yourself going in this kind of situation. It's gonna keep your immune system up, it's going to keep everybody's spirits up, and it's just gonna make it a lot more positive. We really don't wanna droop too far down in this situation. The more you lower your defenses, the more you lower your self-esteem, the more you lower your hope, you're losing hope and it just makes it a much more dreary situation to be in and guys we don't need to be in self-quarantine for months and be miserable at the same time that's all i got for you guys um i really hope you appreciated and enjoyed this video and i hope you got something from it if you have any video suggestions or questions or challenges um there's so many challenges going on right now there's so many challenges going on because everybody's at home so if you have any challenges for me leave them in the comments below i will leave my tiktok down there as well as yoga with adrian just so you can entertain yourself maybe try something new other than that thank you guys so much for watching my video I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day your week your month your existence stay healthy stay safe stay happy and I cannot wait to connect with you guys soon bye guys